You used to be able to raise a family on one single income. You can't really do it anymore. So what happened? Well, it got more expensive to live. So sure, the conveniences got cheaper, right? Amazon will send you some useless Chinese junk at the press of a button. But the things people actually need, housing, healthcare, education, this stuff just keeps getting more and more expensive every year. Look at housing. I spoke with a home builder recently who told me how the EPA derailed a $20 million project because it was next to a dry riverbed, a wash, sort of like this one. Except the bureaucrats back in DC, they said, no, that's not a wash, that's a river, home to some random endangered fish. And so they're not allowed to build the houses until they can prove that it wouldn't harm this non-existent fish. There's no fish here. Or take healthcare. When was the last time you saw a price list at your doctor's office? Is that Band-Aid at the ER gonna cost $13 or $400? You have no idea. And that's exactly how big medicine and the federal bureaucracy like it. That's why we spend twice as much on healthcare as any other country for outcomes that are actually worse. Or what about education? The colleges might be the biggest racket of them all. Tuition goes up every single year. Meanwhile, the government just hands out student loans like candy to 17 year olds. But how are you supposed to raise a family if you're saddled with a lifetime of crippling debt? I've spent my career saving talented young entrepreneurs from that racket. And now it's time to free the next generation of Americans too. I'm Blake Masters. I'm running for the U.S. Senate in Arizona. And I approve this message because these costs are outrageous. We are going to destroy the entrenched interests that are causing them.